episode 2 of God having a sense of humor. So God wanted a nation for himself. He decided to pick Israel. Um, nobody obeyed. No, not many people obeyed to him in Israel. They were all serving all the gods at that time where he chose Israel. And to, to build a nation, you need to start somewhere. You need somebody's inheritance, somebody sees. Guess where he goes to find that person to build his nation? He goes to Babylon, the Mecca of idolatry. He goes in the center of idolatry to pick a person to make his nation that serves God. Yeah, but who does he pick in Babylon? Do you know who Abraham's father was? You know, Abraham, you know, and Abraham. It's the starting point of Israel nation. You know whose son he was? His father was the chief idol maker in Babylon. Like chief idol maker serving other making idols in Babylon so God decides to pick the son of the chief idol maker in Babylon to build up his nation and the irony doesn't end here um, Abraham who was surprisingly faithful to his wife this was a time where they had lots of concubines uh, concubines. If your wife couldn't have kids, you would have other wives to have kids. But Abraham was surprisingly faithful to his wife, and guess what? His wife couldn't have children. And God decides to pick that man to make a huge nation out of him with a wife who cannot have children. And he didn't even bother to, you know, go to other people before. But he will go after, but we'll see that later. But point is, God is using the foolish things of this world to combine the wise. And he cannot predict it, and he takes credit for it. And the irony can go on of God having a sense of humor. Like, one, if you, if you can get, a, get one thing from those series, God has a sense of humor. He reverses things around, he turns it upside down, and he, the least likely, he goes after the least likely, and he's like, yeah, least likely to have an impact, I'm gonna pick him. Least likely, why? Because you cannot take credit for it, that's the point. He picks something and makes, he picks nothing and makes something beautiful out of the dust, so that all the glory goes to him and not to the thing because the thing is imperfect so he does it on purpose to pick broken worthless things to showcase his glory that's the perfect example for him to showcase his glory and turn something impossible into something possible and that's only god that was it for episode two of god having a sense of humor Stay tuned for what's next.